yarn sensation just click on my yarn lady or click the subscribe button hi everyone welcome to yarn sensation
Okay, to get started, grab the material of your choice. You can use yarn, ribbon, anything that you like to complete the project. So you first want to lay your yarn across the palm of your hand. Leave a tail. Next, you just want to wrap the yarn behind your middle finger, across your ring finger, and beneath your pinky. And then you want to go back over your pinky, under your ring finger, over your middle finger, around your index finger, and then you will repeat the steps. So you want to go back, go beneath the middle finger, over the ring finger, beneath the pinky finger. And then you will repeat back across, go over the pinky, beneath the ring finger, over the middle finger, and back around your index finger. You will have two loops on each finger. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And this one belongs to this tail. See, as I pull it. So you will pull on this one as you go across just to tighten, but do not tighten too much because it will be difficult, especially this finger, to get this over the top of the finger. So what I do is I just loosen it up before I get started. Or when you're wrapping, do not wrap really tight because you need this bottom one as loose as you can have it. And that'll help you cross over. So once you do that, just give a little tension to your fingers and you just want to grab the bottom loop, go over the top loop and over your finger. And then you will go to the next finger, grab the bottom loop over that finger. Go to the next finger, grab the bottom loop over that finger. Go to this loop, and remember, this is the loop that is your tail. So you could lose it if you pull too much. So just pull enough to cross over that finger. Once you do, then pull your tail, and that will level everything off. And what I do is just push all loops back to the bottom of my finger then you want to start the next row so you want to wrap across your index finger beneath the middle finger over your ring finger beneath your pinky back over the pinky beneath your ring finger over your middle finger and under your index finger and you just want to repeat your steps taking that bottom loop over the top of your fingers and remember sometimes this one if it's too tight it will be difficult to go across but just wiggle it a little and it'll go and complete the process by going over the index finger pull your tail and as you're doing this process on the back side is growing as you seen in the beginning of the video so you just want to continue this process just going over and under and you just want to continue until you have the length 
that you want for whatever project you're doing. If you're just doing this just to get through your thought process, that's fine. Once you're completed with it, you can always pull it back apart, wrap that yarn back up into the ball, place it aside. You can use it, continuously use your yarn, you know, to make projects or just have that ball of yarn just for this moment. So once you have completed the process, once you have completed the process, you want to cast off. I'm not a knitter, but you just want to cast off to end the project. So you will take the loop from your pinky finger, place it onto your ring finger. You will take this bottom loop over the top of your ring finger and you will take the loop off of your ring finger and place it onto your middle finger. You will take the bottom loop from your middle finger over the top and you will take the loop from your middle finger over to your index finger and you will take the bottom loop of your index finger over your index finger and you have that one loop left so do not move it you can but do not lose the loop because the next step will be to cut your yarn tail and depending on the project you're making that's how long you want to leave this tail. You may want to add beads to the end of your project. You can take this tail off. You want to take the end of your yarn tail and feed it through this loop. And once you do that, you just want to pull and tighten it. And that will end the process and you can also make another knot but like I said it depends on if you're going to add beads to the end before you finish it off but just make another knot to make sure that it is secure and you can also do the same on the other end and that my friend is our finger knitting project for today. Thank you so much for watching. Before we go, I almost forgot, you know, I wanted to give Yarn Sensation a shout out, a shout out to say, you know, we have reached over 200 subscribers and our goal is to, you know, keep on rising, but without you guys, you know, we would not be able to do that. So today also I wanted to give a giveaway and with this giveaway, you know, no how to see games, but we will use some keywords. So what you will need to do is just comment and in your comment, you know, you could say, you know, something like congratulations or yes, you did it. Keep it going. And then, you know, I hope to, that you will get even more subscribers. And I just gave you four key words. Hope, congratulations, keep it going, and yes. And what we will do is we will um, put these four words into a bag and I will pick one of the, you know, the words. And from that, we will enter that word into the comment picker. So if you chose to use one of those words, then you're up to take away, you know, the giveaway prize. What is the giveaway prize? We're going to leave it as a surprise. <laughs> but it will be, you know, worth your time. So, um... Yeah, we're going to, let's extend this one. Let's do at least two weeks and I will um, post, 
you know, the last date that we will do this one. But other than that, you know, I'm just excited, you know, 200 plus subscribers. And I just know it will continue to grow. I have my pencil in hand because I'm thinking, you know, thinking of the next project. I already grabbed a cup of coffee, you know, it's early still, so that's our Sunday. <laughs>